Hi everyone, I'm Jen and this is my daughter, Corian, and we are live coming from our Perler lab and we are so excited that you're here with us today. It is the countdown to Christmas, it's just a few days away, so we are all decked out for the holidays here and we thought we would do a really fun Christmas Perler craft with you today. It is the adorable woodland critters and these critters are stocking huggers for your Christmas stocking. So we are so excited about this. Um, and I think we're ready to get started, right? Yep. So the very first thing we're gonna do is go over our supply list. And uh, most importantly, you should have received an email or your parents or um, whoever signed you up for the class. And it is a downloadable printable pattern sheet this time, the pattern sheet, if you've been with us before, is a few pages because we gave you a couple options for your critters. So we have a fox, we have a raccoon, and we have a deer. Do you want to show everybody what they look like finished? So that's the deer, a fox, and a raccoon. So we're really excited about this project. So take a look and decide which one you're going to do today. And Morgan's going to be doing one, I'm gonna be doing another. And we'll continue to go over our list of supplies. So we have the pattern sheet. The next thing is the most important item, Morgan. Perler beads. Perler beads. So for this project, it's the 11,000 bead jar. And in the bead jar is a, um, is the ironing paper, but you also get the ironing paper with the square clear pegboard that you need for the project. So you have the perler beads, you have the pegboard, you need the ironing paper, which comes with both. And the best thing about the ironing paper is it's reusable. it's reusable. So if you've been here with us before, you probably have a few sheets already at home. Um, we do, right? So you can keep using this time and time again, which is great. We also talk about tweezers, which is optional. Sometimes we use the tweezers, sometimes we don't. You can use your fingers. It's entirely up to you. It's personal preference. Um, today, because we're doing a hugger, the way that we put them on the stocking is by using these large wood clothespins. So uh, from Michael's, we picked up the Createology clothespins. We'll show you how to um, glue them onto your critter. And so speaking of glue, we're recommending a hot glue gun today, or you can use craft glue. The hot glue gun is something that we're gonna ask you have an adult or a parent help you do so there's no accidents. Morgan always uses the heat, the, the glue gun, but always with me here. And then of course you need a household iron. That's what fuses the beads. But an important part about the household iron is- No steam, well- Yes, no, no steam, steam, no water. No steam, no water. So it's just a regular household iron. And when we get to the ironing part, We'll talk about when you can plug it in and what setting, and we'll get to that a little bit later. But again, we're going to please ask you to grab an adult to help you with that. So before the class started, to make it a little bit easier for Morgan and I, we went ahead and separated the bead colors that we're going to use today. That's not something that you had to do. You can open up the jar, lay them on your table, pick them that way. We do that a lot at home. Um, but we separated the colors because Morgan's going to be doing one stocking hugger and I'm going to be doing the other. So I decided I am doing the deer. And Morgan, which one do you want to do? The fox. The fox. So um, for anybody that's just joining us for the first time, you put your pattern sheet down and this is where you get out your clear pegboard and you put it right on top. So you line up the pegboard and you'll see the pegs go right over the circles and each circle indicates which color bead you're gonna use. So Morgan, do you wanna talk about the colors that we're using from the jar? Sure. The color key is red, cheddar, pastel green, carrot green, dark green, toothpaste, pink, tan, light brown, white, gray, and black. Right. So there's a lot of colors, but depending on which pattern, um, you're using today, which project you want to make, you might not need all of those. 
but we do like to also get a little creative with our um, with our patterns. And sometimes we go off the color key and that's the best part about parlor beads, right? Mm -hmm. Cause you can be super creative. And if you would rather that your deer's ears aren't pink, but maybe black, you can do that no problem. So for the purpose of the class, Morgan and I are gonna follow the key, but please feel free to get creative and use any colors that you'd like. So I think we're ready to get started. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. So I have my pegboard lined up and I am going to start at the top of the deer with the red. So I usually take some beads in my hand and use the tweezers and place it on top like this. So you can go from top to bottom, left to right, um, you, what I usually like to do is I'll, I'll put all the red in now into my pattern and then I'll go back and do some different colors. So I'll do all the red and then I'll go back and do all the green. But again, that is also personal preference. So during the class, if you have any questions, or if we're going too fast or too slow, you can type that in the Q&A, and we'll try to do our best to answer any questions. Or slow down or speed up. Are you excited for Christmas, Morgan? Yep. Yeah. I'm really excited for Christmas. Are you guys excited for Christmas? We'd love to hear from you. Emma can't wait. Emma can't wait for Christmas. Emma, you and me both. So this stocking hugger comes just in time for the holiday. You can put it on your own stocking. You can gift it to somebody. Makes a great teacher gift. If you still have a few days left in school, you can give it to a teacher or a sibling. It's a great babysitter gift, right? So I'm gonna finish up all the red on my deer. Morgan, you're doing great. So you're going from top to bottom? Not really. You're just going. Oh yeah. So you started there and then you're going a little to the right. Do you have any questions you want to ask our friends? Um Hmm. Well, they're hoping for Christmas. Hey, what do you guys want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? Morgan wants to know. Any special requests out there? How about you, Morgan? What are you hoping for for Christmas? Some books. Books? I really into reading. You really love reading? That's a great thing. Emma wants a new phone. Ooh, Emma's asking for a new phone. Um, wants a PC. Ooh, a PC. That's a great gift. How about perler beads? Anybody asking for perler beads for Christmas? Morgan? Yep. <laughs> You're doing great. 
Thanks. Anyone gets perler beads for Christmas, we have lots of free patterns online. You can go to perler.com and download a ton of our very cool patterns. There's a really cool one, especially a 3D one. There's a 3D pattern. I know which one it is because you said it before. It's one of your favorites. Tell everybody what it is. A waffle. A waffle. There's like butter and then it's really cool. <laughs> so there's a 3D waffle pattern online. We do lots of foods, holidays, mm -hmm. sports. And I just finished the pink. So we also wanted to mention why everyone's here today. If when we're done with the pattern, when you're done with the project, we would love to see it. So you can have your parents or older siblings put it on social media and hashtag make it with Michaels. You can also put hashtag Perler and hashtag Perler art class. And then we show everybody what was done in our class night here in the Perler lab. Morgan and I take a look at everything. We love them, don't we, Morgan? Mm -hmm. Especially when people get creative with the pattern. It's fun to see the different color beads they've decided to use. So we would love to see it. You're on the red? Yep. Okay, I have a few more green to do. Sorry if I knock my feet over. How's everybody doing out there? Um, <clears throat> Lucian is going to be creative and make his dear have a candy cane on his hat. A candy cane on his hat. Lucian, I can't wait to see that, Morgan. That's going to be very cool. Mm hmm if you post it with the um with some hashtags right can we can see it okay i'm done with my green i think i'm gonna move to my deer's ears which are black And if you weren't able to get the clothespins for the project, don't worry about that because we can tell you a lot of things to do with the finished project, right, Morgan? Yep, there's a lot of things. So uh, we could make it a, bag, a box tag. You could put it on one of your Christmas gifts as a tag for someone. You can put it on the front of a notebook with glue and make it your notebook cover. We've also put a magnet back on some of our projects and you can put it on your refrigerator or gift it to someone that maybe if mom or dad go into an office and they have a filing cabinet, they can put the magnet on their filing cabinet and take it to work. So there's a lot of things you can do with the project if you decide not to put the clothespin back on. Mm -hmm. 
go with my little one too many green and I'm going to change it to black. You're doing great with the tweezers. And now I'm going to start, you know, I'm going to stay with the black and finish those beads. So if you've never been with us before, please make sure that you check out additional classes on michael.com. Just like today, these classes are free and you can sign up right online. It's michaels.com backslash classes and you'll see all the different classes that come up. Morgan and I will be back in January, January 25th. We are going to be doing a mitten photo frame. We thought it would be a great project just in time for winter. We're here in Pennsylvania. By then we will hopefully have seen some snow, right, Morgan? Mm -hmm. We do love the snow. What's your favorite part about the snow? Sledding. Sledding, yeah. I like the snowman. We had a good snowman last year. Big carrot as a nose. We would love to hear where you guys are from. So now you know we're from Pennsylvania. And we'd love to hear if you get some nice cold weather and some snow. Some people might live in the hot weather, though. Yeah, they might and not get snow. We'd love to hear where you're from. Okay. I just did that too. Look at my brown over here. Thanks. So besides the free classes, Michael's also has something new. They have a part of their website that's called premium classes. And if you guys are interested in fine art and baking, it's the perfect place to sign up for these classes. It's called the Maker Academy. So there's the free classes, like the projects we're doing now. And then you also can go to the Maker Academy and broaden out a little bit with some skill building with fine art and baking. We've done a few, it's so fun. Make sure that you guys check it out. And don't forget to sign up for our next class on January 25th. We have Esther from Bronx. Nevada. Esther is from Nevada. Lucian's in Colorado. Lucian's from Colorado. Emma's in New York. And Emma's in New York. We have 
of California or Texas? California and Texas. Probably not a lot of snow there. Tell us how you guys are doing. I have one more color to do. And Morgan is also almost about done. I have some tan to do. And Morgan still has some black. I have a few of the white beads to put in to help make my deer's eyes. Oh, Emma's making an Arctic box. So I Emma's making an Arctic box. She's all white. Ooh. Emma, please make sure you post that and hashtag make it with Michaels and hashtag Perler. We would love to see. But that's really cool. Doing great. Mom's almost done, and I have a few white to do, and then we will go over the ironing. So, this is probably a good time to plug in your iron. Also, if you're using a hot glue gun, you can start to plug that in. Please make sure you have an adult to help you. And we'll get the iron warmed up. We put our iron on a medium heat setting. And just remember, it's a household iron. Go ahead, sorry, honey. No steam, no water. Very good. Oh, you're all done, it looks so good. One more. Just finishing up. Okay. One more bead I have. There we go. Good job. All right, so now it's time to iron. So I'm gonna do what Morgan just did, which is just take that pattern sheet very carefully out from under our pegboard. And my iron is ready to go. And this is where we take our ironing paper. And again, the ironing paper came with the bead jar. It also comes with the pegboard and you can use this so many times because it's reusable. So you place the ironing paper over your project and please remember to grab mom or dad and start to iron. So I use about a medium pressure 
and I'll lift up. You can see already through the ironing paper starting to come through the beads that have been hit by the heat of the iron and that they're starting to melt. So you want to make sure that you're definitely hitting the edges of the project, the top of your critter's hat, the scarf that goes a little bit lower to fuse these together. Again, I'll lift up and you can see how it's starting to come through the paper. I'm gonna give a little more ironing to the ears, the edges of the ears, the top of the hat. So I'm gonna take a peek. Looks like did a great job there and we're gonna flip it over. Just be careful, it is a little warm from your iron. And you flip it over and your pegboard pops right off. But now you wanna fuse the front of your project to make sure that the beads stay together. So we take the other piece of ironing paper and put it on top. And this is the part that's really up to you. You can do a little bit of a quicker iron so that the beads stay open or some people do a harder iron because they like how it looks when they're fused together and a little bit more closed. So that's entirely up to you. We've done it both ways. We like the way it looks. So again, you can see how the beads are coming through the ironing paper. And I'm not gonna close the beads too, too much. There, my deer is all finished. Now he is a little warm. So I'm just going to move this over to Morgan and let it cool. And I'm going to iron her project. Carefully take this over. And you'll see Morgan, go ahead, tell him what you're doing. Peel it off. Peel it off, but it is a little warm, right? But for the beads, um, so yeah, of course it's going to be hot, but then they cool down really quick. They do. So we're just going to wait to do the hot glue part until I show them one more time this part, the ironing. Okay, so again, I'm going to lay the ironing paper on top of the project. And if you don't get to the ironing while we're in the middle of our class, don't worry about it. That's the great thing about curler beads, you can keep them on your pegboard, you can walk away from them, you can come back, you can iron later. We also have instructions on curler.com on how to iron. They're step-by-step, -step. so if you have any questions, you can go back and refer to our website on, on how to do the ironing. So again, my ironing paper is down and I'm going to start the iron the project. You can see how the beads are coming. The melting is starting to happen. It looks different through the ironing paper. And here again, I wanna make sure I get the bottom scarf for Morgan's project. I wanna hit the top of the hat, the ears, really get the edges to make sure all the beads are fused together. When I'm doing that, it's almost already all cooled down. Great See job. That, Be careful that you don't want to bend it. Though. Yes. Okay, so now I'm gonna check it. It looks good. Flip it over. Can I give that to you? Yep. And then put our second piece of ironing paper on top. And I'm gonna fuse the top. Yours is nice and cool now. Yours is. <laughs> that looks so good. Great job. Mm -hmm. It's very like, festive. Vibrant. Vibrant, you're right, I love it. And like my mom probably already said earlier, and you can make the pink ears like black. Any color. 
All right, so Morgan's is also finished. It just needs to cool. But in the meantime, this one's already cool. You ready to put our clothespin on? Okay, so we have a hot glue gun, but again, if you don't have a hot glue gun, um, a thick craft glue will work great. I'm, I'm here with Morgan making sure that she's nice and safe with her hot glue gun. So I'll flip this over so you see how we want it to look. So we so, want to put the glue on the clothespin. Sorry, go ahead. No, go right but, ahead. Um, so first you want to turn it over and then you want to glue this side and then you want to put it straight. You don't want to put it all the way around like that much left. Right. right. And we just want to make sure that the clip part is on like is that. down down towards like the part that opens. No, 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 part. you're good. Like it's mouth. Yeah, mm -hmm. but because on this is area. what's gonna clip mm -hmm. on. That's why the scarf is there. Right. Also, perfect. Let me know if you need any help. Good job. And I can take the glue gun from you when you're ready. I would put a little bit more at the bottom. Maybe a dab at the top. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're fine. Here, I'll grab the glue gun. There you go. <laughs> Great job. Here, and then what you want to do. Yep, and you're going to hold it for a little bit. And I'll get this one ready for you a while. So you want to show everybody at the camera your project. It looks so good. Here's the back. So good. Okay. And then here's the raccoon. <laughs> yes. So this is one we did before the class. The raccoon. Make sure everybody saw what that looked like. Are you ready to do the hot glue on, on yours? Yeah. Here's yours. Great so like job. I said, you want to turn it over. It doesn't really matter which side if you want. So these holes are kind of close if you want the close side to be back or the not closed. Here's your clothespin. Thank you. And I'll bring the glue gun back over for you. Good? Mm -hmm. Remember, if you guys are using a glue gun, make sure an adult or a to have a supervised yeah. around you where you're doing it. Perfect. Cool. No, you're good. Great job. And I'll take the glue gun, and we're going to turn our glue gun off. Let's just give it a minute, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what it looks like. And then the back is the clothespin and it clips. And we brought something with us today. If we yeah. could have the front facing camera on, Morgan and I brought our stockings with us today from home. So we could see what they look like on our stockings. Is yours nice and dry? Nope, not yet. You need one more minute? Yep. Like 30 seconds. Yeah, it dries really fast. It dries. So here's the stocking. I'm gonna clip it on. And how cute is this? Adorable. And you guys can put these anywhere. And when Christmas is over, you can put it anywhere. That's what's great about it. And it also doesn't matter. So this might be big, but these ones are small and it can go on. Oh there. yeah, any size stocking. So you have a big stocking at home. If you have a little stocking, then maybe you're gonna put a gift in for someone. You can add your stocking hugger to the top as an extra keepsake. There's so many great things you can do with this. So again, please make sure that you post your projects today on hashtag make it with Michaels. Please use the hashtag Perler and Perler Art Class. We really hope you join us um, back here January 25th for our winter mitten photo frames. We're really excited about the holidays. And I think Santa would like to eat. <laughs> I do too. Leave it for Santa. What a great idea, Morgan. Leave it on your cookie plate. Leave it on your so, cookie plate. What a great idea. 
we are wishing you guys the best holiday season. We can't wait to see you in January. And thank you again for joining us here today. Bye. Bye.